What's going on everyone? Steven E.W. from The Imperfect Speakers. I am out here inside New York about the film for The Imperfect Speaker YouTube channel. Please check it out. I remember early in my career working as a loss prevention agent for a famous retailer. And my job responsibility there was to train the staff on awareness as well as prevent the shrinkage and the shortage of merchandise from both dishonest employees as well as dishonest customers. I remember waking up one morning going on Amazon and purchasing a little gold shield that says loss prevention. And every morning I will put that shield on tuck it inside my shirt and say to myself, I want to catch and give myself a specific number of shoplifters that I wanted to catch for the day. But what I didn't know at the time is that when I actually will put that shield on and give myself a designated number of how many shoplifters that I wanted to catch, that I was actually priming myself. At that particular time, I didn't know anything about the self-help world in terms of priming and reticular activating system which is the part of the brain and when you give it instructions it will seek out and help you find things that's going to support what it is that you're thinking so if you say you want to have a good day it's going to highlight everything throughout your day that's going to reinforce you having a good day but it also works if you say you having a bad day or if you think negative it's going to seek out and it's going to highlight everything that's not going in your direction to support you believing you're having a bad day. By me actually having on that shield, I was actually setting myself up for success and I felt better. And that's very important because I actually had the feeling that I was more than just a loss prevention agent. I actually had that feeling that I was going to be successful that day. And not only was I able to catch the amount of shoplifters that I wanted to catch. But I was so successful that I was able and I was recognized by other retailers and I was able to go out and train them as well. Now at that particular point in time, again, I stress, I didn't know that by me having on a shield and by me telling myself I wanted to catch XYZ amount of shoplifters that I was actually priming my brain. So when I went and I trained other retailers, I was just training them on a physicality of watching the CCTV, the behaviors, and some of picked up from watching shoplifters. What we had was me actually setting up my day and priming my brain and giving it specific commands that I wanted to be very successful today and this is how I wanted to be successful. And it activated my reticular activation system inside my brain which actually went out there and sought out all the different elements that I needed to accomplish what it is that I had set forth and the commands that I put out to have a successful day. Another story I want to share is when I successfully moved on from loss prevention out of the retail world and I finally did make it inside of the law enforcement community. I started off as a correction officer and anyone that works in a correctional facility know that working amongst some of the hardest criminals out there, it's, it's not an easy task. It's not an easy task physically and it's not an easy task mentally. And every day before your tour, we would line up for what we call roll call and you would be given your assignments. And being the lower man on the totem pole, you can imagine that you had the worst of the worst, what they call pod or housing unit that housed the worst of the worst inmates. And so you will always get that pit inside your stomach because you had no idea where you was going. You had no control over which pod you wanted because you didn't have enough time on the job. You didn't have that seniority on your side. But I do remember, again, this is prior to me getting into the self-development, self-help, prior to me knowing what priming was, prior to me knowing what I was doing when I would actually talk to myself and set up and activate my reticular activating system by telling myself I was going to have a great day, I would talk to another one of my colleagues that we actually went to the academy together and we will both have the same similar feeling like, oh boy, we have no idea where, that where we was going. And prior to us going to roll call, 
I remember him saying to me, well, you know what, Stephen? You have a great day. And for some reason, I'd just always come out and I would just say, every day is going to be a great day. And I noticed that he started to say the same exact thing. And it became this thing where even sometime where I would forget to say it, he would come out and he would say it. And I noticed it started to become contagious. And then not only did you hear me say it and him say it, but you started to hear others amongst us that would say it. But what I want to share is what that effect did to me just by me telling myself I was going to have a great day. The inmates didn't change. The assignments didn't change. What changed was my mentality. And though I went through what I went through, regardless of if I would have said it or if I wouldn't have said it, I noticed that my attitude and my perspective while I was working, while I was experiencing things, had changed. And regardless what was thrown at me, I would just always remember every day is going to be a good day. It did this mental shift from focusing and having anxiety because now I'm anticipating something going wrong because I'm in the worst of the worst units, because I'm with the worst of the worst inmates. It did something to me to where my days became much better. That's not to say that I didn't go through rough days because that's not the case. But what it did was it allowed me to have control over my perception of on how I wanted my day to go. And I had no idea at that particular point in time that I was actually priming my brain and telling my brain and activating my brain through my RAS that regardless of what happens today, I'm going to have a good day. Not I want to have a good day. I am going to have a good day. And that made all of the difference. So whereas in the first scenario where I would wear the shield and I would say I wanted to go out there and get a certain amount of shoplifters, not only did I become the number one loss prevention agent within the rest of the loss prevention community of neighboring stores, but I felt much better. I was more successful. And at that point in time, again, I had no idea. You have to understand, I had no idea what I was doing until later on in my life that I started to become more aware of the law of attraction and priming and reticular activating system and conscious and subconscious. So I encourage you, if you're someone like me that suffered from anxiety, from overthinking, if you're someone like me that always felt that you had no control over what type of day you had or you felt you had no control over problems, that you were just faced with problems and you had to go with the wind and you didn't know the outcome of what type of problem that you was facing, you was just going along with the tide. That's not true anymore. I was able to change my perspective on how I wanted my day to go and you're able to do the same thing and it's very easy. It's not something that you have to experience with other individuals. It's not something you have to go to the library and do an extensive amount of research on. You can set up your day the way you want to set up your day by you just telling yourself that you are going to have a great day. And what it does is it's going to activate your RAS system. And then from that point forward, I guarantee you, something is going to come over you and you're going to experience the same exact problems, obstacles, opposition, friends, co-workers, job. Nothing is going to change on their end. But the way you see it and the way it's coming at you is going to feel totally different and you're going to feel more in control. You're going to feel like you can handle what's being thrown at your way. You're going to feel, you know what, maybe that was supposed to happen, but I'm still in a positive spirit and it didn't affect me the way it would have if I had not primed my brain. Trust me, it works. Maybe you should give it a try. Hello everyone, Stephen E.W. here and you're looking at the Imperfect Speaker channel. If you haven't done so thus far, please hit that subscribe button as well as the alert button so you can be notified every time new content is dropped.